be prepared to run, to change your position in the conference room in any second. Be prepared for people that are passing, that are walking in front of your camera without care. Be prepared for low light or bad light conditions when you shoot something like this. I did it. I managed to film a little bit with my GoPro. I will try to use this to shoot something for you behind the scenes to show you how I do things, how I shoot a documentary, to show you what kind of problems you can find on the field when you shoot something like a conference, an after movie, a documentary, this kind of, of video. So let's do it. First, always be prepared for bad lighting conditions, for low light situations, or for things to change on the spot. Before the conference, I checked the room to be sure how it is, you know, to, to see the conditions. And in the moment when the first speaker walked on the stage, they just turned on some lights against the stage, which, which is strange for me. I mean, most of the time you have the speaker, you have maybe an LED, in the back of the speaker and lights from the crowd to the stage to see the speaker. Now was lights to the speaker and some lights against the speaker. So this is bad for you if you want to shoot wide. Okay, if you use something like, I don't know, 200 millimeters, it will be okay. But if you want to shoot wide, that will be bad, that will be hard, that will change everything. So. Be prepared for these kinds of situations when you need to move fast. You know, you are here, they turned on those lights, it's bad for you, so move. Change your place, change your seat in the, in the room. Find, find something to solve that problem. Second important situation, be prepared when you have a good spot, when you shoot something important and everything is good, be prepared for people to just come in front of your camera and stay there like this or walk to find a seat or something and they don't care about you. They, maybe they don't see you or maybe if they see you, they don't care, like you need to move. And this is, this is happening all the time, okay? Don't get nervous, just be prepared for these kind of things. Be, be prepared to change your, your seat all the times. Be prepared when, when you find a place, a good spot, and start shooting, just <laughs> pay attention for the next seat, you know? Just, now I hear it's good, but, but if something is happening, where I will move, you know? I will move to that place. So always be prepared to change your position in the room. It's so important. I will show you a trick for good focus on these kind of situations. But uh, another thing, Practice a lot your manual focus. This is important. Practice your manual focus. Why? Because if you shoot something and someone will pass in front of your camera, it, if you are on automatic focus, most of the time the camera will start hunting. And that's, that looks bad. If you're on manual focus and you fix on the speaker and someone is passing, you don't care. It's just one second, it's passing and the focus, it's there, it's fixed. But you can still use automatic focus. I will show you a trick for autofocus on my A7S III. The exposure right now, it's set for the screen of this camera. And sometimes I will press the shutter button just half the way down. Not all the way down, just half the way down. Now, the camera, it's on autofocus. You see, it is a small square on the screen. That's the point where I want to focus. So let's pretend that speaker is a person. And right now I focus on that speaker. If I will move my camera to the stream deck, the focus will be on my stream deck. If I move back to the speaker, the focus will be on that speaker. So if that's a person, when I will press the shutter button just half the way down, that square will become green. And that means the focus is locked. So now someone can pass in front of my camera, but the focus is gonna be there on the person. So the focus is on the speaker right now. I press the shutter button just half the way down and hold it like this, and I will move to the stream deck. But the focus is not gonna be now on the stream deck. It's gonna still be on that speaker. So I'm like this on a person, and when I see someone coming on my frame, I will 
press this half away. I will hold it like this. I wait for the person to pass and release it again. Someone is coming. I will hold this half the way. The person will pass and I will release this button. This is working like this on my A7S III. If you have other camera, you just need to find out how to hold the focus. I use this trick all the time. It's useful and easy to use. Oh, I almost forgot this pad from small rig. It's amazing. It's so comfortable, so nice and easy to use. If you want to try this, I will put my affiliate link in the description. Thank you again for using my affiliate links. I appreciate it. This pad, it's an amazing investment if you have and use a heavy rig. Another important thing, use a backup camera. I don't know, something like a GoPro in a corner somewhere. I love the GoPro. Hmm? I love the GoPro. For my YouTube channel. For your YouTube channel? Yeah. You have a YouTube channel? Oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, bro. Uh, another wide angle camera in the back of the room, something. Try to have a backup. If it's a super important moment and you miss that moment, I don't know, because someone is passing, because you need to change the battery, the SD card or something like that, you will lose that moment. If you have a backup camera, you can save that moment. Or have sound from the entire event from the mixer, you know? Buy a recorder, plug that recorder in the mixer and record the sound from the entire event. And that can save your moment. If that important moment will happen and you don't have, uh, you don't shoot that moment, you can use something like B-rolls and put the sound and you will still have something. This is important. Those things can happen on the field. It's real. So be prepared to have the sound from the entire event. Be pre prepared to have a backup camera, a backup angle, and you will be good. You, you can manage everything. And maybe one of the most important things, before the event, talk with your client. Ask him, what is this video for? Where are you gonna publish this? What do you want from this video? What do you want me to capture from this entire conference? Maybe he wants something specific, like a specific moment. I need to be prepared. Maybe he wants something like, I don't know, logos and brandings, or he want to show to the people, I don't know, the entrance and many things, you know, can be a lot of things. Talk before the event with your client and ask him what's the most important part that you want to show with this video. This is so important. If the light is bad, don't be scared about a little bit of noise, a little bit of shakiness, things like this. This is normal. This is okay. In real life, those things happen. Okay, if you're a run and gun shooter, handheld shooter, these things can happen. So don't worry about it. Many things can go wrong, but we need to learn from each other and be prepared for the next job.